everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And if you've read the title of this episode, you'll know that we've got potentially another recipe for you guys to use your TLPs in. Mm. Now, why are we coming up with another recipe? Well, there's going to be tons of them, honestly. There will be different ways to disperse and yeah. mix the TLPs because what we're trying to do is be able to use these alongside all of our acrylic tube paints in fluid art other than having to bloom with them, which is mm. how you would traditionally use these yeah. kind of pigments. And you've got Mina's Tipsy Piggy recipe, which is fantastic, uses the alcohol and the mix. What we've got for you here is the Slick Piggy recipe, <laughs> so named because of the way that it's mixed with a gel medium, a very, very specific type of gel medium. So before we get to the table, let's get to a little clip about how we're gonna mix, or how I have mixed, the TLPs for this episode. So hello ladles and jelly spoons and welcome to the mixing station. This is where Show Pony and I mix all of our paints for our mm -hmm. upcoming pours. Um, all right, you know the Tipsy Piggy recipe. This is a recipe of Mina Villegas' own design. It uses isopropyl alcohol to mix the piggies in and then you use mix pour, the mix, yes. to actually, as a pouring medium, to get it nice and thick and, and to a consistency that you like to use. Mm -hmm. Well, not everyone can get their hands on mix. Not everyone can afford mix. And mix isn't the right pouring medium for everyone. Not everyone likes that translucent effect that you get with mix. So we have been, as artists, all trying to come up with different ways of using the little piggy pigments in a way that they will stand up next to our acrylics in acrylic pouring. Now this is Amsterdam's olive green. And what I've been trying to do for the longest time is get a consistency that is like this. And something that will give me like 15, 16 vol ounces of volume because that's how much we use when we're working big canvases. So when I thought about consistencies, what I thought was I need to get the piggy into a consistency that looks like Arteza, Liquitex Basics, what Amsterdam paint, and then mix it with my pouring medium. And instead of using these two products, what I've got over here is our normal mixing recipe, which is Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol. Now, we all know that the Gloss Medium and the Floetrol alone doesn't really give you the right um, consistency. It's really hard to mix into Floetrol on, it, on its own, and the piggies don't mix well with the Gloss Medium. So, I have been testing out all types of gel mediums. And this is the one that I found to work the best. Now, I've used Liquitex gel medium, I've used the Art Basics gel medium, and I've used the Golden's gel medium, and this one is working really well for me so far. And we're gonna use this in today's pour. And the reason why it works so well is, is because the consistency actually is just like a tube paint. So this is how you do the recipe that we are going to call the slick piggy recipe. Slick because it's got gel in it, just like your hair. So I'm going to take two sticks worth of the gel medium that's probably about an ounce and a half and put it in the bottom of my cup. Now at this point you guys will all be wearing masks because whenever you handle pigments you definitely need to wear a mask. This one here is meteorite. And I'm going to then start handling my pigments. I'm going to open it away from me to start off with. And into this pot here of Saks Gel Medium, I'm going to put two very generous sticks worth. That's probably about a tea tablespoon and a half worth of pigment. Because I'm going to mix 10 or 11 ounces of total worth of volume. Now, the reason why you need your mask on is because this part of the stirring will absolutely aggravate all the powder. And if you stir this right in front of your face or in a room that is not well ventilated without your mask on, these powders will go everywhere. But you can see it absolutely does not take long to get all those powders dispersed within this gel medium. In fact, what did that take me? Maybe 10 seconds. And now I'm going to mix these up really well. Now, one of the things that the alcohol does really easily is 
disperse those pigments into the alcohol, which allows you then to mix them right into the mix. Look how easy that was. These pigments are mixed completely in that gel. And this now is the consistency that you would say is a tube paint out of a Liquitex Basics or a Amsterdam or a Arteza tube. Yes. Now I can simply mix that with my mix of gloss medium, which is about an ounce. I'm gonna mix that all together. That'll give me a little bit of shine on top of the canvas so I don't have to necessarily varnish it. Um, but it'll also thicken up the mixture even more. And then I'm gonna add my Floetrol. And I'm adding in about six or seven ounces of Floetrol with my pantyhose on the top there, so I don't have to strain it every time. And now I'm gonna mix all this together. Not having to worry now about the mask because there's no powder in here anymore. Now this is just about getting those three consistencies all mixed in together. And as you can see, it's just as easy as mixing a tube paint would be with Floetrol. There's no goobers in here, there's no chunks in here, and everything is dispersed really well. And more importantly, all of that sparkle will be suspended in that gel within the Floetrol, which is gonna hopefully mean that these are gonna dry beautifully on the canvas. And we've got a lovely mound and then disappear here which is exactly the same consistency as my Amsterdam paint. So we're gonna use this in the pour that we're gonna do for you right now. And that is the slick piggy recipe. That's slick. So there you have it. <laughs> that is the way that I've mixed teal peas. Now let me tell you, this has been weeks and weeks of research, just like we all have been doing to try and find a way to get these to disperse and use and be yeah. effective in these pores. I've tried five or six different types of gel mediums, at least five or six, seven different types of pouring mediums, the alcohol mixing with all the way. It's, it, there's been a lot. It's been some mad scientist vibes going on <laughs> in the studio. But that Saks True Flow Gel Gloss Medium, which is $17.99 from Amazon, is exactly the, the right consistency and it ends up looking like a tube paint before you then add your Liquitex Gloss Medium and your Floetrol. And you will see towards the end of this episode just how these are drying. So, sir, yes. with TLPs and acrylics, what is it that you're going to be doing today? I'm going to be doing a flip cup. Huh, okay, love it. A really great way of getting those piggies to shine. Yeah. And I'm going to wreck a straight pour. Nice. Yeah, it's been a little while. I love wrecking. I'm going to get a straight pour on this canvas and wreck this one I out. remember whenever you didn't, you were so, like, we're so, against it. We're so shy and retiring. <laughs> you've, you've made me so much braver these days, show pony. All right, less waffle, more action. Let's get to the table. Yeah, let's do it. We'll see you there. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I am excited about today's pour. Me too. Yeah, I am excited. Hmm. Yeah. You've picked these colors and they're, I did they're these interesting colors. and wonderful. Yes, um, I did pick these colors. Um, I was feeling a little moody today. Oh, so just yes. today? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. <laughs> I was Magic. a little moody today, <laughs> but just like not in a bad way. Just right. like kind of moody. You right, know? in your own feelings. Like feeling, feeling, you know, some fall and some, some winter kind of blues. Well, it's definitely going to be winter. It's going to snow here in Texas this week. So. It is, mm -hmm. it is. Interesting. So, yeah. Um, so wrap up tight, you guys. Right. Uh, so I have a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas. You it do. has been taped and pinned on the bottom. It has. Um, I have my colors, like I was just talking about, right. that I'm going to introduce to you right now. Please. Um, I have Van Dyke Brown by Arteza. And to that, we've added a little bit of the Sargent's Pearl Medium. We did. So it has like a nice sheen to it. Mm -hmm. I have Deco Arts 24 Karat Gold. Love it. Um, I have this olive green deep. I was going to say dark. <laughs> olive green deep. Olive. By uh, Amsterdam. You know, if you mouth the words olive juice, it's the same as saying I love you. So if you mouth it, you know, like if you were to say olive juice, someone who is read lips could think that you say I love you. 
Oh, that's cute. Yeah, there you go. I can't do it on camera right, right now. Right, and you but. can't. No. <laughs> but I'll say it to you. Olive juice. So I also have quinacridone burnt orange by Golden's. Right. Which is awesome. I love that color. <laughs> now, we are using some little piggies today. We, I've called, I think we're going to be using them in every blooming pool going yeah, forward because they're, so right. they're so lovely. They're uh so -huh. lovely. Um, I have meteorite, which is this awesome, like, gray kind of, you it, know. It's, yeah, it's like a silvery, steely gray. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really cool. I love it. Um, and then I also have this little piggy sea glass which is this gorgeous green. Right, and we've offered up an alternative pouring medium and today we're using the Slick Piggy. Yes. Mixed with the gel medium. So I'm excited yes. to see how this works in know, your pour. I know, I know, I mm know. -hmm. All right, so let me get to layer my cup because Please. I'm gonna dirty pour this. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna just go ahead and start start dirty pouring That's this. a real test of the piggies here too. Mm. Now that is pearl white. You didn't mention that one because we didn't have the little oh, tub. that's right. But I it is Golden's white. Iridescent Fine. Iridescent Fine. This is what I'm going to be pouring into. Okay. And I think I'm going to actually start with some Van Dyke Brown. Okay. And Pearl Mix. Whenever Jeremy Dirty Pours, he tends to do a lot of tiny, tiny layers in a dirty pour. I do. Which is absolutely fine. Just know you'll get different compositions if you were to do kind of slightly thicker layers in a dirty pour. I know you're pulling a face there, sir, but let me tell you, that quinacridone <laughs> burnt orange, when you mix it, it always is gelatinous. It even is gelatinous. Though, even though off the spoon or the craft stick, it has a wonderful consistency. So I don't think it's going to have any impact on your pour. He says, mm -hmm. hoping and mm -hmm. praying and wishing and hope, whatever the words are of that wonderful song. I love this green, this olive green deep. Olive juice. So pretty. It is so, so pretty. Okay. Um, I'm going to go on with the silver next. Show everyone. Oh, sorry, silver. Meteorite. It is meteorite mixed. How stunning. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to go on with the little bits more of the Van Dyke Brown. You haven't put any of the sea glass in yet. Not yet. I'm okay. just going to do that next. All right. I was just reminding you. So you're probably just under halfway there. I believe. Yeah, I'm halfway there. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of white on top of that. Okay. Just to mix it just a little bit. You got it. I'm hoping the Slick Piggy recipe out there for you guys, if you do try it, as we have been and testing a lot of different gel mediums here in the studio, will offer you the opportunity to use this, the TLPs, with Floetrol. Um, what we're finding with the gel medium is it definitely holds up better with Floetrol um, than some of the other recipes that we've also been trying out. Oof. So, that wasn't a lot. No? No. Okay. No, no, that was not a lot. Okay. Mm. I know it seemed like a lot, right. but it really wasn't. We shall see. I'm glad you put more of them in. I'd like to see more of them in there. That's meteorite. Meteorite. And then sea glass. I love it. Yeah. Delish. We'll be looking for that steely silver and that wonderful almost you know pastel -y green okay all right i think i think that's good i think i think you've got a full cup i think i got a I full think you cup. almost floweth over yeah it's awesome look at that stunning next sir I'm going to flood my canvas. Okay, I believe that um, you have a mixed concoction. Yeah, this is like seven or eight different colors in this this uh, flow or this base coat color here. So I'm going to go ahead and you're going to do a base coat, right? Do a base coat. Mm -hmm.
All right, guys, I got my awesome layered cup here, my dirty board cup, and it's time to flip this bad boy. One, two, three. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, that was like a two out of ten on the on the flippage uh, yeah yeah well, not the on mount was the word i don't know on the mount of course i don't know the but there's a lot of cells happening that's already beautiful 24k for you no oh. this the tlps are selling up that'll be the wonderful slick piggy recipe for you are you lipping this one sir i am gonna lip it okay Okay. And there's a lot of paint in that pot the, to make sure it all comes out. out. Ooh, loving them colors. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Let's talk all right, guys. So now that I got it all on the canvas. You got it all on the canvas. I can't wait to stretch this out and open this up I and see what's I can't wait to see you stretch it. this yeah. out. So it is tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy Let's out. Let's tilt this bad boy out. Um, I think I'm gonna turn it. Caught behind the Venetian blinds. How to reach for the city lines. This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep since 99 What I thought was gone Was sitting in my pocket all alone I think it's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Fell between the foam Pulling the stitches Time to let go So come what may Never toast for those lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart right now I'm bleeding I'm easy kid Gonna leave it all behind I think it's time Wow, guys, I am in love with this piece. I feel like if I could look inside your brain right now, this would probably be <laughs> how it looks. Gold and fallish. Right. And I'm loving all the TLPs that are in here. They mm -hmm. really like came through and they caused a lot of cells. So these are the two TLPs that we used. Yeah, the meteorite and the... And uh, you can totally see them both. Yeah. It's stunning. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. And um, of course the gold left a bunch of cells, but I mean, the TLPs like really, 
sold up. They did. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here right now after this pour and tell you it was the Slick Piggy recipe that caused them to do this because it's not done this in previous recipes prior, but could well be. So we'll keep practicing with it and see yeah. what happens. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm loving it. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this. Right. And uh, I'm going to get my edges and take you in for a close up. Let's do it. All right. Holy smokes, Batman. <laughs> that was really awesome. Just Thank taking you. another look again at Jeremy's poor, stunning, very, very cool looking, very like dark and moody. And I love your choice of those autumn fall colors. Yeah, really, really beautiful. Um, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do as I went into the table with the show pony today, but as he's poured his out, I've decided I really wanna have a go at a ring pour. Um, and I may well wreck it. So we're gonna see how it looks on the canvas before I play around with the Sarah Mac chopstick. Um, but I've got a 20 ounce cup here on this 20 by 20 inch canvas that the mm. show pony is wrapped and pinned for us. Um, the only difference in anything that I've got here is into my base coat, I've added just a couple of tablespoons of satin enamels. So this base coat color is exactly the same as what the show pony had, but it's now gone a lovely minty green because there's a little bit of satin enamels in there and that's gonna be my base coat. Uh, other than that, everything is the same. So show pony, I'm gonna lay my cup right here. Yes. Um, if I may for you, sir. And I'm gonna start this off with a dark and moody center, just like your pole was dark and moody. I love that burnt. That burnt. Burnt orange. Well, I'm gonna do a little bit of burnt orange there next to a very small amount of gold and a little bit of white. Now I did mix up myself a little bit more of the Van Dyke because you used it all. I did. Greedy, greedy boy with that Van Dykel. Um, and then I'm gonna put some of this meteorite next to it. That's cool. I love that color. Very awesome. Then because all of these pigments are pretty much opaque, no, transparent, transparent, getting the wrong way around, you always kind of want to isolate them with some opaque colors. Opaque mean you can't see through them, transparent meaning you can. So um, I'm gonna always try and remember to, or I might forget, to put some of the opaque colors on either side of the piggies where I use them. I do love that quinacridone next to gold though, however, so I always like using it right there. Uh, shall I do this one next? No. Next I'm gonna put another layer of green and then I'm gonna go back in with the piggy. Here we go. Sea glass. Lovely, lovely color. And I'm gonna put sea glass next to brown. And make it a real like mm. mint chocolate chip there. That was a good choice, I think. You like that one? I do like that one. Thank you, show pony. The gold next to the brown. Uh, I'm not gonna do white again this time. But let's go back in with some more of the quinac. And I really like that next to meteorite. Love the color. Let's do a little bit more of the Van Dyke. All right, we're getting to the tippity top here. I'll finish this one off with that lovely green dark. There you go. There you have it, folks. It is one layered cup. All right, so before I straight pour this deliciousness onto the canvas, I am going to put a base coat down. So I'm gonna get the original base coat that the show pony had, and this is mixed with a little bit of satin enamels. I'm gonna get this one all over the canvas first. All right. 
right, so we've got the wonderful base coat down on the canvas. Now I've got my cup of many colors. I'm gonna straight pour this one right into the middle. Straight pour it? I'm straight pour it. Oh, I thought you were going for it. Okay, nope. straight pour. Straight pour all the way, big boy. All right. Nice. I'm not gonna wreck it. I'm not gonna wreck it. Maybe I am. I am gonna wreck it. You are. Oh my God, how indecisive. Yeah, I am gonna wreck it. Reason being that I see this big line of meteorite here, big line of Van Dyke brown here. I'm gonna try and mix in some of the colors with the wreck. Can I say something before? Of course, of course. Because if you stretch it out, the meteor, uh, the this right here, the yeah. meteorite, right, right? Yeah. That actually sells up. Yeah. So. Carry on talking, show pony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? Nothing. <laughs> it's all good. No, please carry on. <laughs> no, I was just going to say that, that that sells up. So I didn't know if you wanted to wreck it or not. Oh, I didn't. But I thought it might. All right. There we go. Just a little bit of wrecking between friends, you know, just the way it goes. I um, Thank you. I appreciate your, your point of view, I honestly do. But I didn't like that full kind of whatever. Mm. He's not happy with me, people. My candor. Oh my God, he's not happy with me. The show pony's angry. All right, people, let's tilt this one out. What time is it? Tilt and time. It's tilt and time. Or 2.41 if you like. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> I bloomin' love this one. 
I really, really do love it. Like if you look around the studio and when we kind of look at the pieces that we've done, we do a lot of purples and blues and greens. Yeah. And that's fine because that's a composition that we really enjoy. But when the show pony picked these colors, I just knew that something magic was going to happen and couple that with this slick piggy recipe and I am over the moon. Sometimes when we do these pours with the piggies in the past, I've been struggling to find the piggy on the canvas because what I felt is that they've disappeared a little somewhat in the acrylic paints. Not today, folks. Right here is meteorite and it is right on the top of the pour. Running all the way through here and all the way through the middle, you got sea glass. So this is real evidence of the fact that you can mix piggies together with a flow troll recipe as long as you disperse them the right way and still get a really wonderful effect. Now this is wet. I will absolutely show you what this does when it is dry and that is gonna be the real test for you guys, I know, to see what this looks like when this canvas is, is no longer wet. So I'm gonna do this. I am going to torch this one off one last time I'm going to get my edges and then we're going to take you guys in for a close up, but I am loving this. So there you really have it, folks. There you have it. There you have it. <laughs> All right. So, um, Show Pony, what did you think of those piggies in that flip cup? Oh, I thought they were great. Yeah, I love that meteorite and that sea glass. Right. Yeah, totally. It was just amazing. Now, whilst we don't have these totally dry, paintings here are taking about a week to dry in this Texas <laughs> air right now, and we're, we're on the way for a cold snap. We're going to be getting some snow here. We do have them somewhat dry, certainly yeah. less wet than they were previously. So let me flash that up for you. But um, Showpony, I really liked how this came out. I um, do too. You managed to get cells in the TLPs, <laughs> which was really strange. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it was the Slick Piggy recipe, but it was certainly exciting to see them yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. And you got so much gold through this piece. Yeah. Really dark, really moody. I loved it. Yeah. I think it's a great piece. I really, really enjoyed it's, this one too. It's really different from like the bright, vibrant colors that we do all the time. It is. And uh, and so I really enjoyed doing this piece. I loved it. It's definitely a palette that I definitely enjoyed. I'm wearing the olive green deep right now. Um, <laughs> and then this is the somewhat drier, less wet results of my piece. Guys, I've got to say, I love this one. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this straight pour. I love the fact that you can see meteorite, you know, yeah. shining through on this one and sea glass all the way through it. What I've really loved about this gel and flow troll mix is that those pigments are holding up just like any other tube paint is, yeah. um, rather than kind of, you know, blending and being super transparent. So I really liked the effect here on nice. this one. And I, yeah, definitely one of my favorite straight pours. Yeah. I think I might resin this one and hang it up on my wall. It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. It was real fun. All right, peeps. So there you have it. That Saks Gel Medium you can purchase from Amazon for $17.99 for 32 ounces, and that will last you pretty much forever. Um, or certainly a long time anyway, that's for sure. Um, because we've had that tub now and tested and used and played with it, and there's still a lot left. So um, I'll link it in the description box for you to be able to see it if you want to buy it. And we are going to keep using it. We're gonna show you the fully dried results probably in Friday's pour. Yeah. And, um, and we'll be using more TLPs along the way. So thank you guys to all the TLP guys. You can get those at fluid-art.co. And um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thank you for being here in the chat with us and we'll see you on Friday for another fun pour. Nice. Let's do it. All right. We'll let you go. Thanks guys. Bye guys. Bye. And now to spank the Patreons.
spank the patrons. Yeah, who are the patrons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the patrons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now, that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage, lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massey Art Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the platinum patrons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Ah, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepperson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level... Hey, you all know her lover. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles. Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studios. Absolutely. Thank you guys.